He's over there. Okay. The whole Disney campus is Floyd's office. He goes wherever he wants to go. And actually, what Floyd does is squat. First of all, I don't squat. I'm a friendly face, and I visit people and give them helpful hints, and they're happy to see me, and I'm happy to see them. So what could be better? Before you think my husband is nuts, you have to understand, he's actually a former Disney artist and storyman with a long history. And when he was forced to retire at 65, he decided he just couldn't leave the place he loved. Way, way back in 1956, when I was the black artist in the animation department at Disney's, uh, boy, I've seen a lot of changes since then. I never saw myself as anything special, and people have often asked me, how did it feel about being the first African-American at Disney? Well, I wasn't even aware that I was an African-American. <laughs> I was another artist looking for a job. I was told as a kid, you know, hey, kid, well, you can't get a job at the Disney studio, you know? They, they, don't, they don't hire blacks. I don't know, people just assume that. And because I wanted to do it, I just went there and applied for a job, and I got it. I can't talk. I can't be part of the political process. I'm shy. I'm introverted. Floyd says to us all, that doesn't matter. Get busy. Pick up your pencil. Those are the people you want. Those are the people who are going to make magic stuff happen. I've been an animator, layout artist, storyboard artist, writer. It goes without saying that Floyd brought with him incredible talent and incredible creativity and storytelling that made him desirable to Walt Disney and to Pixar. He knows everything. He knows everybody. He's been everywhere. Every time there's a great moment in animation, look around, there's Floyd Norman. He's like the Forrest Gump of animation. He's a living link to a really important period of Disney history. And when he turned 65, Disney told him, you're out of here. I've never seen him more devastated in his life. I'm kind of surprised that somebody asked him to retire. And I worried about him losing not just a job, but Disney. He loves the studio. That's what gets kept him young. That's what keeps him young. If you love that and that's your life, you're not going to be stopped. Because after all, this is my animated life. Thank you.